Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here bringing you guys some more My Hero Academia Ultra Impact news, info, and all that. And today, the closed beta is out. I was unable to get into the closed beta, unfortunately, so I don't have any gameplay for you guys. So if you guys want to see actual gameplay, my boy Hydros actually is in the beta. He's uh, currently playing the game. He has a video of his first impressions. I will leave a link to that at the top of the video description below. So please go check it out. Go check him out. Go subscribe to him, all that. Um... You know, I looked at the video and I looked at the gameplay and the gameplay looks pretty solid, but we're here today in the Discord because we have, you know, translations and stuff like that. I just kind of want to, you know, go through all of this and just talk about the game, really. But I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you guys do leave a like down below, show you all that good stuff in the comments below. Um, did you get into the beta? Did you forget to sign up for the beta? Uh, if you did get into the beta, let me know what you think. And if you didn't get into the beta, um, from what you've seen so far, are you interested in the game? Again, let me know in the comments below, but let's go ahead, jump in, talk about this stuff. And we're gonna talk about these screenshots here too. So uh, this looks like obviously the team uh, team building. So you have your regular, you know, squad of three, and then you have, um, you know, your, your sub characters as well, which I think, I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, and then you have your guests at the bottom. Okay, so. I think, uh, you know, obviously once one of them dies, you know, the subs will come in or whatever. And then the guest, I think the guest allows you to use a, an ability from them, something like that. So it reminds me, it reminds me of the Don Machi uh, gotcha game. Uh, it reminds me of that game because they have a, a four uh, team system, a four member team system with two subs and whatever. So... I don't know. I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool. And then you have you have different rarities. You have your rares, uh, you, know, you know, SR, uh, ultra rares, and I think um, there's like a plus ultra rare, something like that. So that that's that's pretty cool. And then you, at the bottom, you see we have these illustrations. Honestly, it looks like they just. <laughs> It feels like they never really wanted to get rid of the whole scene thing in Rising, right? Like, you remember in Rising, we had the scene card. So, you take little screenshots of the anime, make it a card, and throw it in the game. Boom. Um, that's what it looks like is happening here. But at least, like, I feel like it's done a little bit better. Right, I feel like it's done a little bit better because you can. Uh, they're usually just mainly used for buffs. You know what I'm saying? They use for buffs. You can uh, you can attach one, and you know, uh, I think up there is like your team power, some of that power level. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we go down. Uh, this is like looking at the actual summit animation. So I think if you get, I feel like if you get Deku and Bakugo in their hero outfits, I feel like that's like. An ultra rare? I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm, I'm really not sure to be really honest. But the animations look really cool. Like I said, if you guys want to see any kind of gameplay, check out Hydro's video because he does do a summon. Uh, the summon animations look really, really cool. I'm hoping in the future. Uh, I'm hoping in the future that it's not just like Deku and Bakugo, but it's like maybe Deku and Todoroki or something. Um, all my all for one something i don't know just something really cool just some just spice up the animations a little bit you know what i mean just spice up the animations a little bit i know someone in the server i might have been silver i'm not sure someone said that it would be really cool if they did something like that i think it'd be really awesome uh this is a peek at the summon rates so it looks like deku is that deku and bakugo i feel like deku and bakugo are right up on the banner um so that's really cool the, the rates don't look too hateful they don't look too hateful in my opinion um because there's there's ultra rare uh characters and there are ultra rare scenes and stuff as well uh so that's really cool um let's see cards without any of the five star or mm, excuse me <laughs> cards without any of the five typings are scene cards okay so okay well clearly it's not right there but then that's what the the summon page looks like this Deku Shiggy. This is like the first summonable Shigaraki. Um, well, not the well. I guess the first sh uh, summonable Shigaraki unit. Yes, let me say it like that because in Rising we had Shigaraki cards, but this is like the first Shigaraki unit <laughs> that's summonable. Um, bro, this multi is kind of stacked. Hold up, <laughs> that multi is stacked, dude. That's three, four ultra rares. Three of them are units, and one is a scene. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy, bruh. 
Uh, and it's the getting duplicates will reward a player with a certain amount of hero stars. These hero stars can be used in an in-game shop to purchase other units. Okay, that's cool. And then here's the gameplay, uh, the actual gameplay screen here. So you click turn start and then obviously first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. That's the order, turn order. But I think if you use a skill, because you get two skills. I think if you use a skill, it takes priority over everything. So that's kind of bonkers right there. That's actually kind of bonkers. So let's see, uh, one and two action skills. Each character uh, has access to two action skills. These action skills take priority over normal attacks, can be chained, chained together to create a skill chain. Uh, and then each unit and enemy will have a type. Uh, use certain types to deal extra damage. Wrong type matchups will deal less damage. Obviously like any other gotcha. So. Uh, yeah, green beats blue, blue beats red, red beats green, and purple, yellow beat one another. Honestly, it, it's so, it's so easy to it, it's easy to memorize that because that's pretty much how it is in Brave Souls for me anyway. So I, I can remember that. Um, let's see, skill chain. When using two or more action skills, you will initiate a skill chain. This mechanic will prioritize the action skills selected over normal attacks to deal massive damage. Uh, you know, leading a skill chain. If a skill chain has been started, the first action skill used will be marked with a purple aura. Um, so like that, right? And then, uh, let's see, the rest are marked with a red aura and the word chain appearing. Simply tap the action skill again to cancel the skill chain. So if you, so if you skill chain and then boop. Yeah, see, notice how like normally six, uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, but Bakugo goes first and second and third. So that, that's that's wild. That is kind of wild. Uh, you have time to tap in order to deal good damage. The two orbs in the screenshot will close in. Tap when they meet in the center. So they got it. So these two orbs here, they meet in the center and boom. Um, let's see. Chain counter. This counter will keep track of your chain. The higher the chain, the higher the damage output. Uh, chain damage increase. You gain bonus damage increase based on the current chain uh it's, it seems every successful chain increases damage up by 10 percent <laughs> that's wild and then uh shout out to silver for the translations and shout out to jenna for proofreading um so this is the page this is pre awakening deku uh i think his awakening his awakening looks really cool but we don't have a picture of that but hydros i think has a kind of a little silhouette in his video so again check that out uh but we see stats skills profiles so uh these are his stats so we got power speed and crit rate that's interesting and hp that's that's really interesting actually there's no defense stat there's no like no defense you know like i don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about not having defense because you kind of want, I guess, I guess it doesn't matter if you have a lot of HP, but I feel like in a game like this, it'd be really cool to have a defense stat because then, you know, tank, you can build a tank uh, character to tank hits and play support or whatever, play healer, whatever it is. Um, but uh, it looks like the cap for the level is level 70. I'm not sure if that cap is raised when you go from like SR to UR or UR to PUR or whatever. Um, but if we go over to the skills tab, it shows you what they're, um, they got a plus ultra skill and then they have two action skills. So I, I'm pretty sure the plus ultra skills like the, the really big skill that we, uh, like the really big skill that does massive, massive damage. I think, I think either that or it's the guest skill. I'm not sure. I haven't really, I haven't really seen. No, 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 no. No, I think the plus ultra skill. No, because there's a bar. Like you can't really see it. It's really weird. But there's a bar on the side here. Um. Yeah, there's a bar on the side that fills up, and I think once it fills up, you can use your plus ultra attack. I'm, not, I don't know. I, I don't know. I have to go back and look. But uh, so Detroit Smash plus ultra. Uh, action skill, uh, Detroit Smash, and an unyielding will. Okay, see, like I, I wonder, bro, two hundred fifty percent. I don't even know what's happening, but these numbers are looking kind of stupid. And then here's just a profile of the character uh, themselves. So backstory, all that. So 
um that's pretty much all we have in this server here uh, like i said i've seen gameplay of the game and it looks it looks fun <laughs> it looks really fun it looks very very fun i cannot wait hopefully they do some sort of open beta uh or if they do another closed beta i hope it's like a larger pool like a much larger pool so i can actually get a taste of the game and like get a feel for the game whatever uh but things that i really do want in the game well well there is no i guess real link system where you know if you have certain characters together they get a boost but you do have characters that are like support characters that'll boost other characters and stuff um i heard that the ultra rare bakugo is he has an aoe and he has a nuke uh ap shot which is really freaking cool so you know he'll be, he'll be like the nuker of the team and then i think deku has like a support skill that boosts everybody um and there are like healers and stuff like that in the game as well so that's that's good that's really good i like that you just you know build a nice little team together have you like maybe two nukers and a support character or something like that i don't know uh but i do i think i think the game, uh, this game's gonna be good i think it's gonna be really good i hope that we get harder enemies you know like i hope we get like a a boss like like a raid boss or whatever and or i guess how they do boss rush in um what's that danmachi where you kind of just bring in your team or it's like the familiar rush or whatever it is like you kind of just bring in your team and then you just wail and just try to put in as much damage as you can until you die right and then uh, wait until you heal up the next day and then go back in something like that something like that maybe because i don't know if there'll be like an actual like co-op co-op with this game um i do hope they do some sort of pvp system as well i really do hope they do that i'm not sure if they'll be able to do like real-time pvp or if it's like pvp with ais uh kind of like how don machi does it I, I keep referring to don machi because this game feels so similar to it because it's literally you slap characters on a team you got your support characters you got your nukers you got uh your sub characters when any of your other characters die and you know you have equipment and stuff like that well illustrations are which are equipment in this game but uh in daimachi you have things like weapons and armor and whatever so it just reminds me a lot of that game but i really do hope that this game does well because like we need <laughs> we need a good my hero gotcha bro also apparently there's another closed uh beta test for the strongest heroes so there's that i don't know I'm, i might i might give it a try well i don't know if i'll be able to play the beta but like ah I'll, I'll give it a try when the game fully releases you know why not but anyways that's gonna go ahead and do it for the video hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did leave a like down below show us all that good stuff in the comments below again if you whoops uh <laughs> i hit my keyboard uh if you got into the beta let me know uh do you like the gameplay do you think it's a fun game all of that and if you did not get into the beta and if you've watched gameplay of the beta, let me know what you guys think. If you got, if you guys want to see gameplay of the beta, check out Hydros' video. Again, it's at the top of the video description below. Check him out. Follow him. Subscribe. All that good stuff because he, he, I'm like, the gameplay, like, he's cool. He's a really cool guy. Um, you guys probably already know him from, like, Dokkan and stuff because he does a lot of Dokkan assets and everything. So, definitely check out his video. And, uh, yeah, I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.